right, let's add a Microsoft account on the iPhone. I'm gonna hit the calendar icon button in the upper left corner and then tap settings. And then I'm gonna to go to my accounts. Currently I've got an iCloud and a Google account, but I don't have a Microsoft account. So let's fix that. I'm gonna tap add accounts. And you'll see there's several options related to Microsoft accounts. Now, if you've got an Office 365 account, you should use the Office 365 account type. If you've got Outlook.com, Live.com, or Hotmail.com accounts, you should use the Outlook.com account type. And finally, if you're an Exchange user, you should use the Exchange account type. And Fantastica will add the account using the Exchange Auto Discover. I'm going to add a Office 365 account, so I'll go ahead and tap on that. When I do that, it'll ask for permission to continue. Then it'll go to Microsoft Online to do the sign-in. Once I'm there, I can type in my account email and password. Once I complete that, I get the screen asking for permission. I'll tap Accept. And then it goes back into Fantastical and adds the Microsoft account. Now you may ask yourself, why go to all this trouble? If you see this Accounts from iOS button at the bottom and you tap on that, you can see you can already link to existing accounts for your calendar and iOS. But because Fantastical has so many additional features that aren't supported by that, uh, you're gonna lose a bunch. You're not gonna be able to do invitees, travel time. Um, it doesn't have as much invitation support and there's a whole list of things you lose here. So you definitely wanna add those accounts if you have them. Now that we've got Office 365 installed, I can go over to my calendars tab. And if I scroll down, you'll see that in addition to my Google and iCloud, I now have Office 365 accounts available to me. That's all there is to it for adding Microsoft accounts to Fantastical.